PSA Reloaded, man. It's your boy, Three Letter Man. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Y'all see where to follow your boy at. Hit the like button also. I appreciate that, man. Y'all see the title of this one, man. Let's talk about it, man. Real quick, man. I am here in Florida, man. We about to have a hurricane out here, y'all. Pray for your boy, man. Pray for your boy through this hurricane, man. It's crazy out here, y'all. Let me tell you that right now, man. But we talking some hip-hop right now. Enough of that right now, man. We talking some hip-hop right now. So, Joe Budden, a.k.a. Podcast Joe, was on his podcast, and I guess the conversation was about the mixtape game. And shout out to my, shout out to my guy, I, Official Ice. Him and Joe was having a back and forth and everything like that. And they, I guess Joe was, they asked him, you know, give him the, the order of the guys in the mixtape. So who, who, in the mixtape era, who had a mix, who had a dope mixtape catalog? That's what I'm, I guess what I'm trying to say, right? And Joe Budden put himself first. We'll get into that in a minute. So he put Joe Budden, 50, Fab, Kiss, and Fat, Kiss, Fab. That and, and Wayne on there, right? Even though I think Jeezy should have been on there and everything like that. I know a Gucci man meant to the mixtape game in the South. Now, here's the thing about me. Even though I'm a New York, right? I don't wear that on my sleeve. Because, you know what I mean? Let me say this right to, to, to the other regions out there. Boy, you other regions love pulling that New York card. Y'all pull the New York card more than the New York niggas. Let me say that again for the niggas in row C. Who the hell would I say the first time? You niggas in other regions love pulling, oh, only in New York, only in the East Coast. Only. We don't pull that with y'all niggas in the South, the Midwest, and the West Coast. We don't even do that. You niggas love going into that bag. And it's kind of weak sauce, in my opinion. Archie Bunker Award, <laughs> we got going to that bag. Now, for a nigga like me who's lived in the East Coast and the South and everything like that, I get to get a good feel and a gauge on things in terms of hip-hop, right? So back to Joe, Joe, Budden Park, Joe Budden Podcast. First of all, Joe, let me just say this right quick, my nigga. I don't know. You got the nerve, the gall. You sat up there your podcast and put you number one. My nigga, stop it. Look, I, Joe, I rock with you heavy, my nigga, but you are not over 50 Cent. Let me tell you, niggas. So all you hit man hollers, all you niggas on Twitter talking about this nigga. First of all, I don't know you niggas. Respectfully, none of you niggas, no rapper, none of you niggas who rapped in the mixtape era, I'm putting over 50 Cent. Not Lil Wayne, not Fab, not Joey, not Gucci, not Jeezy. None of you niggas, none of yous. Dipset, I love y'all, locks, all that. I'm not putting Dipset over, over, over Gene either. Hell no. Bruh, I think niggas caught, be catching hip-hop amnesia or something when it comes to 50 and G-Unit. For whatever reason, they act like 2002 never happened. Let me tell you what happened in 2002 for your boy right here. Bruh. I am a man of age. I lived through decades of hip-hop. I lived through the 80s. Because you know some of you niggas can't talk 80s hip-hop at all. And very respectfully. Yeah, I know the 90s hip-hop is the golden era. But some of you niggas can't even talk 80s hip-hop. So whatever. I lived through the 80s, 90s, and the 2000s of hip-hop. So I'm well-versed in talking music, I think. You can't tell me nothing. Shout out to Kanye West. You can't tell me nothing. I... <laughs> I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be cool here, man. I've never seen a rapper in terms of 50 Cent and G-Unit did what they did in 2002 in terms of performing songs, no albums yet. Only 50 got Power of a Dollar and a, and a and G-Unit and mixtapes, right? A couple, a couple of G-Unit mixtapes. Guess Who's Back, 50 Cent in the Future, God's Plan, and shit like that, right? I ain't never seen a bunch of niggas, this was Problem Child and everything was big and everything, Performing those songs, and they were not on albums. These are mixtape, mixtape joints, and the crowd. I'm watching the crowd because I'm mesmerized. Now, okay, I'm going, I'm going to a Fifty show. Oh yeah, at the time, I think Wanks had just bubbled. It just came out. Wanks had just came out, right? I think Wanks came out like two weeks and it came out. Boom. But he has other songs. He's, he's rapping off the Tyler Quality's the blast song. He's rapping off other niggas' beats and shit, performing like it's his beats. I ain't never seen no shit like that in hip hop history. So to me, and we, we, we're not even talking about Lloyd Banks in, in, in the mixtape era when when R.I.P. Justo when Banks won mixtape um, catalog um, two years in a row. You know what I mean? So let me be clear on that now. 
Let's get to Lil Wayne. Dog, I respect Lil Wayne. I, I'm looking forward to listen to the Carter Six. And I'm gonna tell you something right now, Wayne. I rock with you heavy, my nigga, but I, I know you go crazy with the features and shit, my dude. But I'm gonna need you to deliver on the Carter Six. That's a different, different story every different day. Now, and I'm not gonna go into Lil Wayne with the Harlem and, 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 and Swagger Jack dipset. I'm not gonna be petty and go in that bag like other people do. I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm not gonna go in that bag. I'll leave it alone. Right, boom. So, Lil Wayne, no ceilings, no dedication mixtape. I, 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 I love those mixtapes. I think there's a lot of joints on it that's dope. Now, when you have abundance of mixtapes like he does, everything is not going to hit. And I think I see Ice alluding to that earlier on Twitter. And I agree with Ice on that. Not everything. And I, now, I do enjoy Wayne rapping on instrumentals and killing him and everything like, like he did. Right? And having some original songs also that, that he rocked on No Ceilings and Dedication. Because those dedication mixtapes were dope. I mean, come on. I go back to the all hip hop, all hip -hop .com era when I used to be in the reason. Y'all don't know about that. All hip -hop .com, You know, niggas don't know about that. And there's a section called the reason. There's a lot of hip hop sites. And niggas would be in there talking hip hop crazy. New York niggas, South niggas, the Trey niggas. So it'd be a bunch of us in there and shit like that, right? Anyway. I understand what Wayne means to the mix, what Wayne means to hip hop period, and I and, and Joe Budden, you you know, you, you you're gonna have some people say you played yourself by making that comment about Wayne. You got yourself over Wayne in terms of mixtapes, but I'm here to say I'm, I can't knock Joe all the way because as much as I like, and I'm not trying to say which mixtapes are better. I'm just telling y'all for me, I played Joe Budden mood music one, two, three, and four, and a loose quarter. Here's the thing about Joe Budden. A lot of you niggas love talking about pumping up. Do you new niggas know that the average nigga that rocked with Joe Budden? I haven't played Pump It Up since 2003. I'm talking about play that song myself. To the point I got sick of that song. Because I, I can say Pump It Up and in the club, I, club in the club by 50 Cent. Those are the two biggest songs in 03. You can make that argument. I got to tell them joints real quick. So, but Move Music 1, 2. And let me, let me tell y'all something, man. A lot of y'all niggas front on Joe and all that. Y'all make fun of Joe. We get all that. But the average Joe Budden supporter, he's a dope MC. And I got to be honest, I've never had, in terms of rapping, I never thought Wayne was a better rapper than Joe. Once again, that's not taking nothing away from Lil Wayne. I don't think, I never thought Lil Wayne was nicer than Joe Budden in terms of song, in terms of um, storytelling. Like, I don't, Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne has not got a better storytelling song than Three Sides to a Story by Joe Budden. I'm sorry. And I'm, I'm, I'm taking movie music one, two, three, and four. There's some songs on there that your dog, it might, there's certain things he was talking about will touch your soul. As a, I think I understand something. Joe Budden was giving niggas a lot of reality rap. Think about it. The nigga, nigga had, you know, Obi Trice loves to say, real name, no gimmicks. You can make an argument about Joe Budden, real name, no gimmicks. The nigga just rapped. Now, you have some people say make depressing music and everything like that. Fine. He has some music in there like, whoa, Joe, right? But he's giving you him. And there's some songs that I can I, I can relate to, like when he says, "Um, I hate that my job gets paid by weekly." Like when you, when you the real life bars, <laughs> real life bars. That's reality rap. When he says, "I give it a two fifty to pay for the abortion," like the niggas, the niggas giving you real life stories and shit. These raps. So for me, I'm not saying I got Wayne over Joe. Joe, I'm saying for me, I play Moon Music one, two, and three, four more. I, I would play those more than, Joe, than Lil Wayne joints. And here's the thing. If you want to go regional back, fine. If you're living in Louisiana, because he coppled, my, my, my nigga coppled, he getting on me about my 50 cent taking everything like, over Wayne and shit like that. I stand on that, my nigga. Like, I don't got none of these niggas over 50 cent in G Unit on a mixtape game. None of them. None of these niggas. I'm sorry. I just don't. For me personally. You know? Them early junior mixtapes, junior radio 1 through 25, bruh. The, the War Angel, Forever King, Sincerely Yours, Stop the Lost Thing. We go to Banks, Halloween Havoc. We can go to all of them, all of them shits. You feel me? So, but Joe, you, you got to understand something. Even though some of us will rock with you, you're probably going to lose that fight with a general consensus over, over Wayne. Because you don't rap no more, number one. And Wayne is active, so people are gonna forget about your catalog, act like mood music one, two, three, four didn't, didn't matter. To the point, I wish you dropped a, a mood music part five, but that's neither here nor there. But I don't know, man. Y'all ain't, I don't know. I got 50, man. I'm sorry, bro. Hold on, yeah. 
Somebody said 50 was on fire. He had Banks and them performing freestyles off them tapes. Low-key changed mixtape structure forever. That's real talk. He low-key changed mixtape structure forever. I love what Dipset did. I love what the locks did. You feel me? I love Jada Kiss mixtapes. Fab too. Now, respectfully, I don't got fab over Joe Budden. I love the soul tapes and all that, but I don't got over Joey. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Niggas telling me that piff. Bro, respect. All right, man. You know what? I know some of you niggas say Wiz Khalifa and currency and all that shit to be cute out there, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. So for me, I got 50 Cent as the, the greatest mixtape artist ever. I'm sorry. I do personally. I'm not going to do no all this shit for me, but... You know, Joe, you're probably going to lose that fight. when it, and I, I'm throwing Jeezy in there, too. I got Jeezy over Gucci. I've always had Jeezy over Gucci. I've always liked Jeezy over Gucci anyway. That's just me, though. But that, that Trap or Die mixtape, one. Part two was cool. Part one, I like a lot. I love Jeezy Trap, Trap or Die mixtape, bro. I really, really like that shit a lot, bro. I'm not going to hold you. Kiss has some nice... The Locks got some nice mixtape. The Jada Kiss, off, obviously, too. You know, but I don't got them over 50. I just don't. Shout out to Papoose, Gravy, uh, Saigon, a bunch of niggas in the mixtape era, man. You know what I mean? But, you know. I don't know. Shout out Jay Hood and all that. So, Joe, you're probably going to lose that fight. But I did. I, I, I'm not going to act. Move Music 1, 2, 4 meant a lot to me. Move Music 3, I treat that shit like an album. I'm sorry. I, Dear Diary, Hiatus, Roll Call. Dumb out. Like, I can go all over movies like one, two, three, and four, my nigga. Like, what? Nah, son. Joe got some shit that, that talk to your soul, my nigga. I'm sorry. You know, you niggas will... You, you, you nigga, if you know, you know. If you don't listen to it, you're going to say some dumb shit. But if you really listen to them, to them, to them Joe, Bennett, Joe Bennett movie music joints, you understand what I'm saying. Only the niggas who understand what I'm saying. You feel what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. Y'all niggas act like 50 didn't run the streets, though. We're not going to do that. 50 ran the fucking streets. Dog, let's not act like the lead up to Get Rich and I Trying wasn't based on 50 Cent mixtapes. What's wrong with you niggas, man? Are you kidding me? Man, RPK Slay, man. For real. RP Just, though. Come on, man. We talking about Cool. Talking about Cutmaster C. Cool Kid. P. Cutter. What's my, what's the name? White Owl. He's a prominent... Um, the, who, who's the nigga that had all the locks freestyle? Uh, DJ B Big Mike and all that? So, I mean, that's just me, though. But we're not going to front like Boom Music 1 through 4 was not official. Like, that series was not official. Now, y'all was all way up, but I would take that, that small sample size of 1 through 4 over some Weezy shit. But that's not, not taking nothing over Wayne, though. Because y'all would hear that, oh, you trying to front on, no one's trying to front on Wayne, bro. I don't think you've ever, ever heard me diss Wayne on here or see me or you don't see me tweeting out songs that little Wayne been on. Like what are we talking about? Anyways. It's your boy three, man. Come on.